Like this club can be really whatever you guys want it to be. Okay, so here's your options, right? So I originally was just going to make a 3D printing club where I was just going to teach you all how to make the 3D printers, how to use some different modeling software type stuff, and then really just so you guys could use them when you want, right? Uh -huh. those, those were donated to us. I'll give you the whole spiel in a minute for those of you who don't know. Um, that was what I originally thought about. But then I kind of thought about it, and if... And I'm willing to do more than that if you guys want. There's other things that, that I like. I'm trying to learn how to do myself. But then other than that, there's other things that we could do. Like if, if we do this really awesome, what I would like to eventually do is have our own tools that are kind of donated to the club. You know, like we'd have to figure out who's going to donate those. But have like a little space where you guys can basically work on whatever projects you want to work on. Okay? Um, there's things that are around the country called hacker spaces, which are usually um, put on by some organization or club or something, and they're open like once or twice a month, and like mem people of the public can come and use the tools and make their own stuff. Like I'd be willing to do stuff like that. I mean, we'd have to find a location, we'd have to find all the tools and get all that set up, but th it could really turn into that if you guys want to. I don't care, okay? Now, the other side of it is, is I do the robotics team which has been with Belton High School, because I started when I was there. Um, but honestly, I'd like to eventually have our own new tech team. So this could turn into a, sep a, a second robotics team, too. Um, so what it does is it's, it's changing temperatures. So it stops while it changes temperatures. Um, if you want to print something in two colors, you have to set up the file to do it that way, where you kind of have to make two parts that are separate, but they're like oriented the right way. So it's, it's really easy to do in <coughs> like 3D tin. Who asked that question, can you print two colors? Yeah. So in 3D tin, for example, when I did the bow tie, I made, I made it to where there was a bow tie, and then I made a bigger bow tie around it with a hole where the first one was, and I printed that with two different kinds of plastic. <coughs> so you can do it. It's kind of a pain in the butt because it's just really slow. Because what it'll do is it'll warm up for one color and print that part, like that layer. What kind of things you want to make in the Maker Club? Um, okay, so I found a program online where you can convert your Minecraft world to a 3DS format. And then you can open the 3DS format in SketchUp. And then you can change SketchUp into an SKL or STL. And then you can print the STL. So, so what do you, so what do you want to make? So I'm he wants probably, to make his Minecraft world. Yeah, I, I have some pretty cool builds in my Minecraft world. I'm probably going to transfer. Okay. You can make a Minecraft. Uh, there's a bunch of Pokemon badges I want to put in. Okay, what do you want? Tiny to robots. Tiny robots. They do what? Anything. Tiny Just robots. Tiny robots. <laughs> what do you want to make? Oh, I was going to make something from Starcraft Two. It's called the Thor. It's going to be awesome when it's done. Cool. New Tech Maker Club!